Welcome back to Dobre Cars. We're fast as a lifestyle. Today we're doing another matchup. Brother versus brother. Porsche versus Lamborghini. Let's see what's gonna happen. We have not done this match yet. I'm curious to see what happens. <laughs> Let's see what Marcus has to say. <sighs> I don't know, this is going to be a really close race. I raced the Performante a long time ago, but the STO is a lot faster, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, we've never seen the STO versus the GT Taurus, not even online. I don't think I've ever seen that race before, so this is the first time it's going to be done. Whoa, hey, I don't want no trouble, bro. All right, you think you're going to beat me? I didn't say that, Bumblebee. Are you sure? I didn't say that, Bumblebee. What's right. up, Marcus? What's up? Good to see you on the track again, brother. Yeah. Guys, we got the beautiful Bumblebee GT2 RS up against the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo Omaregato, um, <laughs> straight from Italy. Um, shout out to all my Italians out there. We love you guys. Shout out to the whole world. We love everyone. Um, God bless everyone. We have a fun race lined up. Me versus Marcus. Um, it's a nice warm day out. Our tires are over 100 degrees right now, which is perfect. And Dari, how much power is the STO pushing? How much horsepower? The STL is pushing 640 horsepower. 640 at what weight? 2,900 pounds? 3,000 pounds? About 3,000 pounds. And Marcus, what are you at with weight and power? Uh, we got 690 horsepower, 3,200 pounds. Uh, I don't know, it's gonna be close. Dang, that's actually like. pretty close. Yeah. So guys, Dari's car weighs one or 200 pounds less, and he has around 50 less horsepower. Rear wheel drive, V10, naturally aspirated. But Marcus has more weight and a little more power, so let's see how that turns out. Good luck guys, have some fun. Two dig races, two roll races. We could do probably a 30 and 50 roll. We'll see what we feel when we do that. 30 sounds good. Um, okay. These are both both great track cars. Not specifically meant for straight line, but both obviously will put down the force and stick to the ground. It's gonna be an interesting race, so make sure you guys give this a thumbs up. Subscribe to Dobre Cars. We got a lot of amazing, insane stuff coming up guys. So stay tuned and um, thank you for all your love and support. Lucas, who you got? Um, honestly, I feel like the winner is gonna be whoever launches the best, but we'll see. I mean, the Porsche is definitely faster straight line, but if the Lambo could launch better, it's gonna be close. Right. You so, wanna warm up our tires a little bit? Yeah, let's Are do you guys it. putting any money on the line though? Cause that's what makes it fun. Yeah, I got, I got some, I got my checkbook. You do? Whatever you wanna do. Um, I could, yeah. uh, I could, I could give him a tire. A tire? Let's we'll see what happens. We'll bet. We'll bet. Let's go. All right. So, racers, if you want to warm up, now's the time. Let's line them up. Yo, you got this? I don't know, bro. The STO's fast. It's faster than the Performante. We raced that like three years ago. Um, yeah. but we'll see what happens. Nah, bro. You got to win for us. Let's do it. Sticking in the ground today, but Dari is about to do something here. I don't know what he's taking out weight. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, hard away. This is like twenty. This might be thirty pounds right here. Hey, wow. That adds up. That's a difference. Thirty pounds is like yeah, that's a foot, a couple, maybe two feet. A win is a win, bro. At the end of the day, so I mean, at the end of the day, he even told me to take out my wallet out of his car. That's how much he wants to save weight. So I got it. Nice. What do you think is gonna win? I think GT2 RS might edge it on the roll races, but on the launch control, it'll take a bit for it to catch up and beat the STO. So STO for the dig races, depending on how much the GT2 RS sticks, but on the roll races, I think GT2 RS is gonna take it. I just know, I just know, because I've raced both cars. gonna win but it's gonna be definitely a close race.
takeoff on the Lambo was pretty good there, Marcus. It looks to me like that was tied. Uh, Darius does have the advantage because he doesn't have anyone in the car. But hey, I don't know how that looked from here. But that looked really interesting. Comment down below who you think won. Yo, how was that? It was good, it was good. Hop in, hop in, hop right, in. Let's go. Yeah, it looked like it was tied to me. So, um, I had him on the launch but I could see he was starting to creep up. Um, if we had some more track space, he definitely would have, he would have passed me for sure, for sure. But it's, it's hard to tell. I was really focused. We're gonna go ahead and run, run more from the dig and um, let's hope for the best. I mean, the GT2 is no joke, bro. Yeah. It's, it's one of the best cars I've ever driven in my life, so. People don't understand how fast Porsches are actually. So guys, we're gonna do another dig race right now. On the other side of the track, the Porsche has a lot of power, it was slipping, it took a while for it to catch up with the STO, but this time the traction is gonna be there for the Porsche, so the race will definitely be different. All right, dig race number two, here we go. Lamborghini and then obviously this is the fastest Porsche you can ask for I mean track drag everything overall together the GT2 RS never disappoints good win Marcus Dari won the last one and now two roll races let's go it looked like the Porsche stuck better on this side that looked crazy to me honestly it looked like the Porsche even had a faster launch which is crazy because the STO is lighter naturally aspirated the STO actually has one of the fastest launch. People actually don't know that because it's so light and off the line, it's crazy fast. How was that? All right, so Marcus definitely took me on that one. He launched quick, yeah, faster, faster than me for sure. But let's get on with these roll races, bro. You ready to hop in again? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, now we're gonna do a rolling race. 30 roll? Yeah. 30 roll. I'm gonna say one, two, three, on three we go. I decided to try something different this time. Usually I race in um, Trofea mode, which is strictly shifting, but instead I just put on regular STO mode and did automatic shifts. Man, that was fast. All right, it's time for roll race number two. All right, number two rolling race. Oh. One, two, three! Dude, he got me on that one. He got me on that one quick because he messed up on his shifts on the first one. So, I mean, Mark is definitely his car is faster, you know? So, but both great, both great vehicles. Yeah. Great results from both cars. I'm happy with, with how my STO performed against the GT2 RS. Yeah. I mean, that car is literally one of the most notable cars. The Nürburgring. It's a Nürburgring king, you know? That was awesome. Yeah. Thanks for being my co-pilot, bro. No Let's go talk to Marcus and Cyrus and uh, see what they think. Nice job, Marcus. Yeah, that was a good race. That was crazy. You guys killed it. Thank you. Good job, Marcus. It's a lot faster than the Performante for sure. Yeah, what an interesting day. Today is a perfect example that conditions of the road and the mechanics of the car are so important. Make sure you're sticking to the ground at the right times. Making sure you're gearing at the right times. We were able to play around a little bit. I know on the roll races, Marcus tried third gear, 30 roll on the first race, and then he went into first gear and it made a big difference. And Dari, the STO, what an amazing takeoff it has Thank on you. any road conditions. So honestly, it was two ties today. What do you guys yeah. want to say? Good job, Marcus. Yeah. I, the Porsche, I mean, it's top 
German engineering. I decided to try something a little new. I actually took Marcus's advice on it. Like I mentioned, I would usually run it in what, like the Performante, it'd be called Corsa mode. On here, it's Trofeo mode, I believe. But I decided to just put it strictly in STO mode, which is, um, I kept it on manual, but once I punched the throttle, I switched it to automatic, so that way it was doing perfect automatic shifts, which helped a lot because Corsa typically is just used for the track, you know? But for straight line, I had it in the right mode this time. These two, these two cars are very close on the track and uh, straight, straight line speed. So. Street, yeah. Track kings, comment down below if you guys want us to take our cars to the track and do another head to head to head to head battle. Because we've done that before with our older cars, but now we got newer cars, much quicker, faster, and a lot more experience from all of us. Good race today, guys. We're fast the lifestyle. Everyone was safe. We had some fun. Until next time on Dobre Cars. And don't forget, if you want to race us, make sure you check out our Instagram at Dobre Car and DM us if you want to race. Love you guys so much. Thanks for your support.